Let the journey begin. I'm out here at Jefferson Memorial Forest. I want to do the, the Siltstone Trail. Um, it's a 6.7 mile out and back. Um, I don't know how much I'll do today. Um, I can't do all of that, I don't think. But here I am at the Welcome Center, which is great. And I shot some video inside, a um, little gift shop. Here's the parking area. I'm gonna get my stuff together, and then I'm gonna head across the road um, over there and uh, get started on the trail. Time to gear up. I'm gonna get my shoes on, and I might take my day pack with me today. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll, I'll decide here in a second. Here I am at the trailhead, the Siltstone Trail, 6.7 miles uh, out and back. So uh, we'll see uh, how many miles I'll do today, but let's get started. All right, so I'm out here on the trail uh, this uh, this morning, and uh, at the Jefferson Memorial Forest, and in the background is Tom Wallace Lake. I'm on the Siltstone Trail, um, which is a 6.7 mile out and back trail. So I'm gonna follow it for a little while today. I don't know how, how I don't know how many miles I'll end up doing, but I'll be out here for a couple of hours. Um, and then I'll give you a rundown of what I'm wearing today um, and the weather coming up. So. Should be a fun day to be out. A little overcast, but a good day to be out on the trails. So the trail I'm on uh, brought me to the Tulip Tree Trail, which is wheelchair accessible, which is a, a nice uh, benefit for individuals who might be in a wheelchair, and so they can get out into the woods and get on the trail a little bit. So uh, what a great thing for Jefferson Memorial Forest uh, to provide to make it accessible for all people. All right. Uh, I'm about a mile in on the trails today, so I'm going to take a little take a little break because I'm going to uh, remove a layer. And I knew I was a little overdressed, but I didn't know if it was going to rain, so I wore my rain jacket today. But just a little bit about what I'm wearing. So I've got a, a Marmot uh, rain jacket on, and then underneath of this, um, I am wearing a Mountain Hardware uh, Windstopper vest, and then under that, I'm wearing a Patagonia. Uh, half zip uh, pullover and then I've got a like a dry fit type of Nike uh, shirt uh, to keep me uh, to keep me comfortable today so I'm gonna and one of the reasons I brought my day pack which I'll show you in just a second is because I knew I was gonna be shedding some layers I knew it was gonna warm up and so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the the rain jacket now uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna rain and I'm, I'm warming up as I'm walking so 
Here's my day pack. It is a, uh, I don't even know if it has a brand name. Uh, I got it at Target. It is a hydration pack. So it's got uh, several uh, several spaces and then it holds a, uh, a one liter um, or 34 liter, excuse me, 34 liter uh, hydration pack that came with it. I do not have it with me today, but I am carrying a water bottle, uh, a Camelback water bottle uh, for the walk today. But I, I mentioned the reason I brought this is because uh, I know I was going to be shedding some layers, so I'm just going to put my, my rain jacket in that today and then head on. Uh, but a comfortable bag. It's not great. I, it's got a top handle uh, for quick grab and go, but it's starting to tear um, from me grabbing and going with it. So but it's an okay pack. It works. It was pretty inexpensive, which is the reason I bought it. So I'm up on this ridge line. You can see from the video, it sort of drops off on that side. I don't know how well you can tell. And then on this side of the trail, it drops off again. But I'm sort of up here at the top. I have no idea the elevation. Not very high, but it is the highest point around, it looks like. So I'm going to keep on walking about, uh, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half in. So, great day to be out here on the trails. In a really cool section of the forest, I don't know um, if you can tell, but the, the trees around here are just covered with this bright green moss. And it's only in this area. And so, just a really cool. Uh, color contrast contrast with the, the brown leaves and the, the darkness of the sky and then these bright green moss covered trees um, right here in this section of the uh, of the forest so pretty cool good to get out I, I know the here's one I know the uh, camera doesn't do it justice but just a really cool uh, visual out here So here I am on Jefferson Hill Road. Um, I'm, I'm a couple miles in um, on my map here. And so I think I'm gonna maybe go another mile up the trail. I gotta find the trail where it crosses the road. Um, but it's around here somewhere. So I'm gonna go another mile and then I'll turn around and, and head back, which will put me at probably uh, around six miles for the day. I think I've reached the summit of Jefferson Memorial Forest. Uh, it's still not very tall, but I felt like I climbed something, so that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna head down um, maybe another half mile until I cross a road, and then that'll be my turnaround point. So I'll probably get in a little bit over six miles of hiking today um, out here at Jefferson Memorial Forest on the Siltstone Trail. All right, I'll check back in in a little bit. All right, so uh, shed another layer. 
uh, maybe two, I can't remember, but I'm down to a short sleeve shirt and just my, my mountain hardware um, wind stopper vest. It's, uh, it's not really raining, but it's very misty, and so I'm, I'm a little wet, maybe a little bit sweat, but a lot of it is just, just the moisture in the air. But uh, heading back, so I made the, made the turn at the three mile mark, and I'm about, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half from the trailhead in my car. So good day, uh, beautiful, beautiful forest out here. It is uh, just uh, amazing number of, of creek crossings, great rock formations. Saw a big white-tailed deer that crossed the trail in front of me at one point. But uh, I'm the only person out here today. It's, uh, it's midweek, I'm on vacation this week. So uh, good day just to be out on the trail and enjoying enjoying nature man these are these are these are some serious hills I'm out of breath a little bit and I'm not a young guy either so uh, but uh, yeah I'll check back in when I get when I get finished here we go <laughs> 